Hello guys, how are you today? We're very excited to introduce you to the topic of daily routines and activities. First, we'll learn how to use simple present correctly. I'll show you how to use in this presentation the correct form of the simple present in affirmative and negative. First, we will divide the subject in two different groups. This will help you make it easier for you to conjugate correctly. The first group is the strong group. It includes I, we, you, they, or a plural noun. And the second group is the weak group. It includes pronouns such as he, she, or it, or a singular noun. For the first group, in the affirmative form, we're going to use this formula. Subject, verb in base form, plus complement. Examples, I take a shower, we look out the window, you run every Sunday, they love pepperoni pizza. If you want to use a plural noun, you could say, my friends love pepperoni pizza. For the weak group, remember that it was he, she, and it, or a singular noun, like my friend. We need to use this formula, subject plus verb not in base form, we need to add S or ES, plus complement. Examples, he takes a shower, she looks out the window, it runs every Sunday, or my friend loves pepperoni pizza. There are some special forms of the verb when it comes to conjugating for he, she, and it. We will modify the verb and add ES if the verb ends in O. Do becomes does and go becomes goes. We will also add es to the verb if the verb ends in a hissing sound. S, sh, t, s. Watch becomes watches, kiss becomes kisses, wash becomes washes. We're also going to modify the verb if the verb ends in consonant plus y. We will change it to ies. Fly becomes flies and try becomes tries. And lastly, if the verb ends in vowel plus y, we're going to keep the y and add s. Play becomes plays and say becomes says. Now the negative form. We're going to continue to use the same groups. As for the strong group, we're going to use this formula. Subject plus do plus not plus verb in base form plus complement. Remember that do and not becomes don't. Examples, I don't take a shower. We don't look out the window. They don't love pepperoni pizza. For the weak group, we're going to use this formula. Subject plus does plus not plus the verb in base form plus the complement. Does and not becomes doesn't. Examples, he doesn't take a shower. She doesn't run every Sunday. My friend doesn't love pepperoni pizza. A tip for conversation. When we speak, we usually use the short form. Instead of saying, I do not dance, it is probably more common to say, I don't dance. Instead of saying, he does not dance, it is probably more common to hear and say, he doesn't dance. Remember, this tip is only for conversation. In writing, we prefer to use the full form. I hope this was very helpful for you. Now I'm going to leave you with teacher Catherine, who will introduce you to some vocabulary you can use for daily routines in simple present. Hello students. I hope you are doing well. In this video, I will introduce you to some vocabulary words or phrases that can be useful to create sentences in present simple and describe what you do in your daily routine. Have breakfast. I usually have breakfast at 6 a.m. Have lunch. Maria eats salad when she has lunch. Have dinner. Mark has dinner at 6 p.m.
with his family. Have brunch. I have brunch at 10 a.m. when I am in a hurry. Have a snack. Sarah likes to eat crackers when she wants to have a snack. Coffee time or coffee break. In this case, these two are synonyms. In other words, they mean the same thing. My coworkers love to talk during coffee time. I eat cookies in my coffee break. Take a shower. I often take a shower in the afternoon. Take a bath. Matilda takes a bath every day at night. Brush my teeth. I brush my teeth five times a day. Get up. Rondal gets up at 5.30 a.m. Go to high school. We go to high school from Monday to Friday. Finish high school. I finish high school at 5 p.m. Study. Fernanda studies while she eats. Watch TV. Matthias watches TV every day. Listen to music. They listen to music while they walk. Read. I read a chapter of my book when I go home. Go out. Pablo goes out with his friends on Saturday. Take a nap. I rarely take a nap in the afternoon. Well, that was the vocabulary I wanted you to know for today. Feel free to watch this video as many times as you want. Up next, we have the simple present questions explanation in charge of teacher Emerson. Stay safe. Bye. Okay, hello guys. In this video, I'm gonna explain how you can make a WH questions and yes, no questions with that simple question. So you may remember that the bird to be is a little different from the others. So there are three forms for this verb, and this depends on the subject that you use for the sentence. So how do you create a question? Well, it's really simple. As you can see, you're gonna put the B form at the beginning, then you put the subject, and then the rest of the sentence. So, and I'm ugly, yes, you are, or no, you aren't, or no, you're not. Another example, are you thirsty? Again, the form of the verb to be at the beginning, the subject, and then the rest of the sentence. Here we have an adjective, are you thirsty? Yes, I am, or no, I'm not. A final example, again, is she here? Yes, she is, no, she's not, or no, she isn't. Do how? In the negative answers, we can use contractions, but in the affirmative answers, we do not use contractions. Gotta be careful with that. Now let's move on to negative questions. These questions, you have to understand that they basically express the speaker's belief or expectation. So let's look at this example, are you Natalia's brother? So let's picture uh, a situation in which you are meeting someone and somehow you feel that you know this person from somewhere else. So in here, you are like, uh, this should be Natalia's brother. So you are asking him, are you, are in you Natalia's brother? Let's look at another example here. Well, here you have, are you married? Or is in he your boyfriend? So in this the third one question, 
we can picture this scenario in which you are with your friend and you are looking at a man and you are like telling the, uh, your friend, isn't he your boyfriend? You are expecting this guy to be your friend's uh, boyfriend. So you are asking her, isn't he your boyfriend? Then uh, we move on to other verbs. Pretty simple. You remember as well, depending on the subject, you're going to use do or does. So to create a sentence is the same. You put the auxiliary verb at the beginning, then the subject, and then, then the base form of the main verb. Do I use nor? Yes, you do. Or no, you don't. Or no, you do not. Does she admit? Again, the auxiliary verb, the subject, the base form of the main verb, and the rest of the sentence. So does she admit? Yes, she does, or no, she doesn't, or no, she does not. Same story here. Pretty simple, right? So finally, with the WH questions, in here, you're going to ask for a specific information. That's what we want with uh, the WH questions. So here we have, who's your father? So. A possible answer could be, my father is Carlos. We're asking for a specific information. You gotta keep that in mind. What is your name? Why do you watch TV? I could ask you, do you watch TV? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Well, here, I'm asking for a more specific, or a reason. Why do you watch TV? Well, I watch TV because I like uh, watching cartoons. And here we have a final example. Which game do you like? So that was it for this video. And up next, we have teacher Allison. She's going to explain uh, how to use adverbs of frequency with a simple uh, present. So hope you like it. And well, see ya. <music>First, we need to know what frequency adverbs are. They are adverbs that change or qualify the meaning of a sentence by telling us how often or how frequently something happens. Now, their level of frequency. With our 100%, we have always, then we have, we have almost always, usually and generally, frequently and often, sometimes and occasionally, rarely and seldom, almost never and hardly ever, and with a 0% of frequency, we have never. There are positive adverbs of frequency and negative ones. The positive ones are always, almost always, usually, generally, frequently, often, sometimes, and occasionally. The negative ones are rarely, seldom, almost never, hardly ever, and never. Now we are going to learn how to create sentences in simple present using frequency adverbs. First, we need to remember that is, are, and am constitute the verb to be. In this case, the frequency adverb goes after the verb to be. Example, she is always sleeping. Now, frequency adverbs with other verbs. Any other verb that is not the verb to be. For example, run, walk, and brush. In this case, the frequency adverb goes before the verb. For example, they hardly ever go to class. Finally, we are going to learn how to create yes no questions with frequency adverbs. With the verb to be, the structure is the verb to be, the subject, the frequency adverb, and the rest of the sentence. Example, is she always late? And with other verbs, the structure is the auxiliary, the subject, the frequency adverb, and the verb. For example, does he 
usually exercise. And that would be it. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope it was helpful for you. Now let's put all this knowledge into practice with some really cool activities we have created specially for you. To get started, go to the next activity below. You'll have lots of fun practicing your listening skills. Our friend the tiger is going to explain what you need to do next. Have fun!